Hello everyone, it is I, Pioneer, with another figure review. This time we got another of the Dragon Ball Evolved figure set. This one being right here is Son Goku during Ultra Instinct Sign. This right here is another Dragon Ball Super figure. Uh, three set lot, the other ones of this lot being Gogeta, which we reviewed a couple days ago, and then the other one being Super Saiyan Trunks, which we'll review probably either somewhere down the line, or somewhere down the week, or maybe somewhere next week. But with that out of the way, let's go with the unboxing of the figure. And we're back, and now time to unbox this. And like always, I like, and like always with these videos, I always like to try to save the box art because I kind of do like the box art for some of these. Ah, uh, here's how he is with the box art art. This right here is another Bandai figures. No, they're cheap of the figures too. Uh, 10 bucks figure. But with that out of the way, let's go with the unboxing, which this time I'm going to try to be a little bit smart about this and try to go under where the plastic's at. That way I can try to slide through the uh, gluing that they usually put on these. That way I can try to get the figure a little bit much more easier. And like I always say, don't try this at home. Just rip off the box, like always. Because normally, when people buy these kind of figures, these are the cheap figures. So most of the time, they just rip them out without having to worry. <sighs> that right there. A little bit easier. Box is most safe. I could always re-glue that part piece always. But there we go. Unboxed. Take off the little bit of plastic that's right here. And boom, Goku falls out pretty nice. Ooh, that looks pretty good. So far out of box, Goku's looking pretty nice. And it's it what, Ultra and Six Science figure. But now that he's out of the box, let's go with the overview of the figure. Now let's go with the overview of the figure, how it looks overall. Design-wise, pretty good. Sculpting's pretty nice overall. His face sculpt is not that bad at all. Here it's looking good. A little bit much more decent than some others. Uh, paint coloring is all good. Uh, it's anime accurate as it, as it should be. Might be a little bit more things they could probably do on the paint right here. They probably could have put a little bit more of the, uh, the little brownish orange right here on the shoelaces right here on the boots. But overall, not bad. The coloring on the boots, looking good. Pants looking as orange as possible. Overall, the sculpt is pretty nice. Not a bad figure. There we go. The head was a little bit stuff, stiff, but now it's not mo more movable. Overall, the figure is looking pretty nice. Like, like in design-wise, like this is probably the first Goku figure that I think I have... No, not the first one. We have, we have Super Saiyan 2, but that review will be coming out a little bit later. But now, with the overview of the how the figure looks, let's go with the articulation. Now, we're here with the articulation. First things first, head right there. You can see right there. Come up 360, no problem at all. I can bob and weave a little bit, so no problem at all. Arm can move all the way up. Move it down. I can spin around. It's on one of those little ball joints that you can see right there. I don't know if you can see that right there, but it's a little one of those ball joint arms. It's able to move in, no problem at all. This torso arm can spin around, no problem at all. You can see right there. You can bend all the way on the single elbow joint right there, so not bad at all. His hand can spin around, there we go, free moving. And his hand's able to go, his hand palm can go back and forth, no problem at all. No problem at all, overall, pretty nice. Right arm, same thing. Can move all the way up, all the way down, spin around. Ooh. Can move in and out. Right arm can spin. Elbow joint can go all the way there, no problem at all. Little hand, spin around, now that's been cracked. Elbow, the hand can move all the way there, all the way back. Pretty nice. Now let's go with his torso. He's got the ab crunch right there like we always want with star figures because having ab crunch now is pretty good. I remember back when I was a little kid, uh, a lot of figures really didn't have ab crunch back then. They just had like the, the whole spinning around. Not a lot of them had ab crunchers. I think the only figures that had ab crunchers were the ones that were pretty costly back then. Like, like right now for us, like 30 bucks is like normal price range for a figure. But back then, like 20 years ago, 30 bucks was like, ooh, very expensive for a figure and you had to beg your parents. I know I had a couple figures that were kind of like them. I had to beg my parents. Uh, but yeah, overall, pretty nice. Ab crunch is good. They were spinning around with no problem at all. Looking pretty nice. Now we'll go with the legs. First things first. He's able to do these always almighty split. I can tell you for most guys trying to do a split like this. Ooh, it would hurt. I know I've tried. Never doing that again. 
Ugh, because I think I, I strained my leg, and that was like a whole... I'm going to go to chiropractor to actually fix that. Never doing that again. Okay, you can do the split. You can move his leg all the way up. All the way down. Go all the way to the back, but it's angles a bit. All the way forward, no problem at all. What's it called? Kneecap can go all the way there, so not pretty problem at all. See, some of some the parts here are kind of like opening up, so. But then again, this is a cheap figure, so just let you know that. But still pretty decently well. And then the feet, see right there, go go back and forth, left and right. Do a little bit of the wiggle. It can spin around with no problem at all. Wiggle a little bit, so no problem at all. You see right there. Back and forth, front and back. Spin around. I think this is this is also an iconic kind of like ball joint. And the legs able to spin around with no problem like that. Same thing with right one. So able to go all the way there. All the way to the right, left. A little bit to the back. Sorry, you had to pop that out. Some of these are kind of stiff. Goes towards an angle because how these ball joint legs are. But I can go all the way to the front with no problem at all. The bend joint on this, on the right legs, it will go pretty nice. See right there. Trying to do a knee kick right there. Three right there. Able to go bend left and right, no problem at all. A little bit left, front and back. Do the spin around, and no, again, no problem at all. Overall, the figure is pretty nice. Disposability is pretty good. Trying to do another, I was trying to do the Kamehameha wave. I did promise, I think during the Gogeta one, I was trying to find like a particle effect part to try to, try to do those. But I do know Bandai does sell uh, effect parts now that do have those um, particle effects. Now, I'm pretty sure I did get one, but I don't think I have the ones I want. But I am going to try to try to see if I can find those, because I kind of want to do Power Effect Part. If not, I'm pretty sure my other Dragon Ball figures that I bought from the other Dragon Ball series do have Power Effect Parts. Well, let's see if I can try to steal some of those later down the line. Well, we're all. Dragon Ball figures, uh, pretty good. Articulation is great. Everything looks good. And overall, I'm really liking this. And it's mean look as he is. <sighs> you know, looking at them like this, I kind of really, really need to get myself... Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Now I should be the love of what I want. But there goes the articulation. Now let's go with the final thoughts. And we're back and we're here with the final thoughts. Overall, pretty nice figure. This right here is another of the Dragon Ball Evolve series. So overall, price wise for this was pretty nice. 10 bucks overall. Like with the other with everything else of this figure, coloring wise, articulation is pretty great. It's as color accurate as need to be. The sculpting is pretty great. Everything else looks pretty good. Articulation is pretty good. Comparably to when it comes to like these cheap $10 figures, usually it's a hit or miss most of the time, but overall the figure's actually pretty good. I'm actually a little bit soundish, and I guess that's the overall over the years of making better figures over time. Overall, figure's pretty good. You want to come pick this up, usually you can find these at Target. Like I said, price range is 10 bucks, so not a bad price. Overall, the figure's decently well for you want to add it to your Dragon Ball collections. And yeah, I would recommend this, and if you can try to get the other two, recommend it as well. But out of the way, this right here is the figure review for Dragon, Dragon Ball Super uh, Son Goku Ultra Instinct Science version. But thank you very much. Uh, if you please, if you like the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will always appreciate it. And next time around, I will be reviewing the Super Saiyan Trunks of the same Dragon Ball series Evolve. But thank you for watching, folks. This is Pyro Arden signing out, and I'll see you guys on the next one.